morning. This is the story of Come On Rain. It's written from the point of view and perspective of a young girl during a time when there had been a drought. So a drought means that there isn't any rain and so the ground is really dry and the plants are dying. So this is a story called Come On Rain by Karen Hesse. Come on rain, I say, squinting into the endless heat. Mama lifts a listless vine in size. <sighs> Three weeks and not a drop, she says, sagging over her parched plants. The sound of a heavy truck rumbles past. Uneasy, Mama looks over to me. Is that thunder, Tessie? She asks. Mama hates thunder. I climb up the steps for a better look. It's just a truck, Mama, I say. I'm sizzling like a hot potato. I ask Mama, may I put on my bathing suit? Absolutely not, Mama says, frowning under her straw hat. You'll burn all day in this sun. Up and down the block, cats pant. Heat waves off tar patches in the broiling alleyway. Ms. Grace and Ms. Vera bend, tending beds of drooping lupines. Those are flowers. Not a sign of my friend Liz or Rosemary. Not a peep from my pal Jackie Joyce. I stare over rooftops, past chimneys into way off distance, and that's when I see it coming. Clouds rolling in, gray clouds, bunched and bulging under a purple sky. A creeper of hope circles round my bones. Come on, rain, I whisper. Quietly, while Mama weeds, I cross the crackling dry path past Ms. Glick's window. Glancing inside as I hurry by, Ms. Glick's needle sticks on her phonograph, playing the same notes over and over in the dim, stuffy cave of her room. The hot smell of hot tar and garbage bullies the air as I climb the steps to Jackie Joyce's house. Jackie Joyce, I breathe, pressing my nose against her screen. Jackie Joyce comes to the door, her long legs, two like two brown string beans sprout from her shorts. It's going to rain, I whisper. Put on your suit and come straight over. Slick with sweat, I run back home and slip up the steps past Mama. She is nearly senseless in the sizzling heat, kneeling over the hot rump of a melon. In the kitchen, I pour iced tea to the top of my tall glass. I aim a spoonful of sugar into my mouth then a second into the drink. Got, some, got you some tea, Mama, I say, pulling her inside the house. Mama sinks into a kitchen chair and sweeps off her hat. Sweat trickles down her neck and wets the front of her dress and under her arms. Mama presses the ice-chilled glass against her skin. Aren't you something, Tessie, she says. I nod smartly. Rain's coming, Mama, I say. Mama turns to the window and sniffs. It's about time she murmurs. Jackie Joyce in her bathing suit knocks on my door and I let her in. Jackie Joyce has her suit on, Mama. I say, may I wear mine too? I hold my breath, waiting. A breeze blows the thin curtains into the kitchen and sucks them back against the screen again. Is there thunder? Mama asks. No thunder, I say. Is there lightning? Mama asks. No lightning, Jackie Joyce says. You stay where I can find you, Mama says. We will, I say. Go on then, Mama says, lifting the glass to her lips to take a sip. Come on, Rain, I cheer, peeling out of my clothes and into my suit while Jackie Joyce runs to get Liz and Rosemary. There's a character trait of being hopeful that I would identify with Tessie right now. She's hopeful that it's going to rain. We meet in the alleyways. All the insects have gone still. Trees sway under a swollen sky. The wind grows bold and bolder. And just like that, rain comes. The first drops plop down big, making the dust dance around us. Then a deeper gray descends and the air cools and the clouds burst. And suddenly rain is everywhere. Come on, rain, we shout. It streams through our hair and down our backs. It freckles our feet and glazes our toes. We turn in circles, glistening in our rain skin. Our mouths wide, we gulp down rain. Jackie Joyce chases Rosemary, who chases Liz, who chases me. 
wet slicking our arms and legs, we splash up the block, squealing and whooping in the streaming rain. We make such a racket, Ms. Gliz rushes out on her porch. Ms. Grace and Ms. Vera come next, and then comes Mama. They run from their kitchens and skid to a stop. Leaning over their rails, they turn to each other. A smile spreads from porch to porch. And with a wordless nod, first one, then all. Fling off their shoes, skim off, the ho off their hose, tossing streamers of stockings over their shoulders. Our bare-legged mamas dance down the steps and join us in the fresh, clean rain. While the music from Ms. Glick's phonograph shimmers, shimmies and sparkles and streaks like night lightning. Jackie Joyce, Liz, Rosemary, and I, we grab the hands of our mamas. We twirl and sway them, tromping through puddles, romping and reeling in the moist green air. We swing our wet and wild-haired mamas till we are all laughing under trinkets of silver rain. I hug mama hard and she hugs me back. The rain has made us new. As the clouds move off, I trace the drips off Mama's face. Everywhere, everyone, everything is misty limbs springing back to life. We sure did get a soaking, Mama, I say, and we head home, purely soothed, fresh as dew, turning toward the sweet rays of the sun. I love this story because it talks about being hopeful even when it feels like there's no hope when it was so hot and the rain hadn't come. And I also love this because at the end, everyone gets to go out in the rain and have a ton of fun. So I love you guys. I miss you. I hope you're doing well. And I hope that you enjoyed Come On Rain.